It's through a mom's lens that I've seen a lot of things. My son is um, brown, and I haven't prepared him to look at police brutality in that way. I've prepared him to look at it as a white person, and he's in Seattle, and I can't protect him. The biggest weapon that police have is fear, and they use it blatantly and wantonly. Um, when everything came down on August 9th, um, shortly thereafter, I went up to Ferguson, um, kind of not knowing what to do, what my role was, and I just talked to people about feeling helpless and feeling hopeless. These young guys came up to me, and they started talking to me, and I recorded them <laughs> on my iPhone. I was like, I, wanna, I want to replay this, and they told me how they had been brutalized by the system, by racism by the police, how their lives every day, it's like dropping water on their forehead every day they deal with that. People were get, who were getting pepper sprayed were young African American men and I didn't know what to do. I started flushing out eyes with milk and so I thought I'll, I'll become a street medic. I'll use my clinical skills that I have and learn some basic first aid to help heal. My thing is when you get to know people, when you know their name, when you know who they are, you can't, it's very hard to turn away. You know, I, I would hope that people would get off their couches and come out in the streets. There's something new being built and it's, um, it's a round community, it's a round wanting justice for all, for all of our society, not just for one portion or another. It's sharing power. One of the things that, that keeps us all off balance is all of the different things that we're in, all of the different places we have to go. I'm too busy to go to this. I'm too busy to do that. Those kinds of things have fallen away. And this has become, this issue, has become the things that people spend their Saturday mornings, their Sunday afternoons, their Saturday evenings, their Friday evenings, their Tuesday evenings, going to meetings about building community around. For the people who don't join, they're going to find out that what they thought they still had, the power, the privilege that they still had, they're not going to have. For better or for worse, my Achilles heel is that if I see injustice, I just can't. I can't let it go. It doesn't go away for me. Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! I am!